Let's think about question two. And I had a few different question, versions of this question. I guess four possible versions since I had two versions of the next two questions. Anyway, what is Fountain X's average total cost when output is 35 pens a day? So we, we need to know the formula for the average total cost. Average total cost is equal to total cost divided by quantity. And we see that at 35, the important thing here is to go to output. I guess there's no 35 labor input, but be careful of that. Uh, notice that um, total total cost at that is 2700. Output is given at 35, so we're at 2700 divided by 35, which is equal to 77.14. Oops, there's four. When I'm at the edge of my screen, my uh, my uh, iPad has trouble uh, reading. Get well. The the communication between my iPad and my stylus isn't isn't great. Uh, the next one goes. Um, I've got it way down here. What is the marginal cost as output goes from twenty five to thirty five? So let's let's figure that out. We have marginal cost. That's equal to the change in total variable cost or the change in total cost, either one divided by the change in quantity. So we know that output's going from 25 to 35 fountains. That's a 10 unit increase. So that's our denominator. Let's see what the numerator is. We're going from 25 to 35. So marginal costs are jumping from 2300 to 2700. That is, or total, if you want to do it by total variable cost, that's a jump from 800 to 1200. Either way, it's 400. 400 divided by 10 is going to equal 40. So 40 would be what you'd put in that next one. And note that everybody had a different, well, again, not everybody had a different, there, there were multiple different possibilities, but the methodology was always the same. Let's move on. I have inserted a, a filled out table. So I, I did all the calculations here. Uh, I actually didn't do them by hand. That would have been tedious, but I did them by spreadsheet. But you, you would have needed to either calculate profits or to, cal to calculate that marginal cost question to get the next question right. So the next question I have, I'll just pop back and forth between this page and the next as needed. And the answer would be if the price is 70, 75, should I produce the, um, we go from 10 to 25 to 35, et cetera. Should I jump up to 25 units of output? Yes. Should I jump up to 35? Yes. Should I jump up to 43? Yes. Should I jump up to 49? Uh, yes, 67.67. I would pay that to get 75 for sure. Should I jump all the way up to 53 fountains? No, because the cost per fountain in that jump is $100 per fountain, and I only get uh, 100. So um, the uh, let me go back to my pen, circle green. So the answer to how much should I produce is 4,900 not 4,900, just 49. Uh, now I had my spreadsheet calculate profits and um, but but let's just let's just do that by hand. So profits are equal to total revenue minus total costs, which are equal to price times quantity minus total costs, which are equal to 49 times 75. Let's just write that down, 49 times 75 minus, and then we have total cost uh, at that level of output minus 3,500. And when we get our calculator out and multiply 49 by, by 75, we get 3,675. We know from the table, and I wrote it above already, 3,500 is our total cost. So we get 
profits equal to 175. Pardon me for that messiness of that dollar sign. The next question it was if the price of uh, the fountain X receives for each fountain is $75, how many fountains should the company produce each day? Write that in. And then, um, is this in competitive equilibrium? Let's, let's go back to that uh, and check. Remember, if it's in competitive, long-run long competitive equilibrium, um, the um, profits are zero. So if we go and calculate profits at, at output 49, we get a positive number. No, it's not an, out, it's not an equilibrium. And indeed, there's going to be uh, entry in the long run. I guess we only are only asked is it or is it not? But if we get a positive number or a negative number, if we if we get a non-zero number, we're going to say no. All right, let's go let's go calculate profits. But back to our question, no is our answer. We'd select that one.